Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at a stock that just hit the public market at the beginning of this summer. It has since already picked up a handful of ratings from five-star analysts with some pretty big upside potential. We're talking over 50% on a lot of them. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we are taking a look at the Traeger stock. Now, they just IPO'd at the start of this summer. We're gonna take a look at what their stock has been doing since then, what the company does, and how analysts are weighing in. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Okay, diving right into the Traeger stock. Trading under the ticker COOK or COOK, they're currently priced at about $21 per share. The Traeger stock came out right at the beginning of August. They released about 23.5 million shares, initially priced at $18 per share. In the following weeks, the stock jumped up to highs of $32, but as you may have noticed on the chart, it has been a decline ever since. Now, at these lower prices, closer to that initial IPO price, we might finally find a bottom that could be a pretty attractive entry point. But first of all, who exactly is Traeger and what do they do? Well, Traeger is the creator and category leader of the wood pellet grill, an outdoor cooking system that ignites all natural hardwoods to grill, smoke, bake, roast, braise, and barbecue. Versatile and easy to use, their grills empower cooks of all skill sets to create delicious meals with a wood-fired flavor that cannot be replicated with gas, charcoal, or electric grills. Their top-selling grills range from $1,000 to $2,000 per piece, and their consumables also include natural hardwood wood pellets available in a variety of flavors and an extensive line of rubs and sauces. They also offer premium grill accessories allowing consumers to customize their grilling experience. At the heart of their brand, they're also very focused on building out their engaged community that they call the Traegerhood. This includes a whole Traeger TV section, including lifestyle, recipe, and test kitchen videos, and is comprised of their Traegerhood neighbors and ambassadors. This ranges from casual grillers to competition pitmasters, professional chefs, and even a pro spear fisherman. One neat thing about Traeger is that they are bringing technology to the grill with what they are calling the Traeger Wi-Fi technology. This is a new Wi-Fi controller that connects your smartphone to your grill via the Traeger app. They even have an Apple Watch integration. With this app, you can change temperatures, monitor your food temps, and add smoke, all on the Wi-Fi enabled Traeger wood pellet grills from anywhere, anytime on your smartphone. Now, as you noticed, the Traeger stock has been on a steady decline since their highs post IPO. Now, the most recent decline had to do with their earnings report, which just came out on September 9th. In Traeger's second quarter, the company earned $213 million in revenue, which was 39% higher than the same period a year ago. However, it did flip to a gap net loss of $4.9 million, or $0.05 cents per share, which was quite some distance below the $9.3 million profit in the year ago period. This is because their sales and marketing expenses soared to $47.3 million compared to $21 million in the second quarter last year. The company attributed this to increasing in advertising spend for greater consumer awareness and driving demand. It also spent more on acquiring and improving the customer experience. Looking forward over the long term, they said that they believe their disruptive business model has the potential to deliver approximately 20% annual revenue growth and 20% adjusted EBITDA margins as they continue to execute on strategy. The company believes it'll post revenue of 760 to 770 million, which if achieved would mean year-over-year -year growth of at least 39%, and their adjusted EBITDA should land at 103 to 108 million. As I said, we've had several analysts weighing in recently on the stock, especially following that recent earnings report. One of those is five-star analyst Jim Duffy from Stifle Nikolaus. He said their fiscal year 21 guidance outlined a more confident view on their second half revenue, but accounting for incremental adjustments, a more cautious like-for-like -like view on profitability. Since the IPO, supply chain and logistic challenges have escalated and guidance reflects incremental associated expense at approximately 7 million. We're focused on demand indicators rather than transient pressure to earnings power from supply chain and logistics challenges. For Cook, we remain enthused by green pasture household penetration opportunities 
and are encouraged by comments foreshadowing planned enhancements to the digital ecosystem in the next six months, and a new product offering is slated for the fourth quarter. We see Traeger uniquely positioned at an intersection of secular trends and remain comfortably with our buy rating. And I know that was a long one there, but I have one more from four and a half star analyst Joe Feldman from Tesla. He says that Traeger should continue to benefit from strong customer demand for its products over the next couple of years, boosted by the shift in spending toward higher quality, innovative grills and ongoing strength in the outdoor cooking market, partly supported by the suburbanization, backyard recreation and at-home experiential eating trends related to COVID. In addition to the industry tailwinds, he believes he has the listed below growth initiatives as well. Altogether, the Traeger stock has 10 analyst ratings that have been made within the last three months, and it does come in as a strong buy based on nine buy ratings and just one hold. The average price target comes in at $31.33, which would be an upside potential of over 49% for the next year. And as I said at the beginning, we have plenty of five-star rated analysts here, which is always great to see. On the low end, we do have our hold rating, which is still an upside of over 35%. On the high end, we have a Jeffries analyst who gave it a $36 price target, which would be growth of over 74%. So now is the part where I love to hear from you guys. Is this a stock that was already on your radar or is it brand new to you? I know this was a new one for me that I came across using the TipRanks stock screener and caught my eye with all of these five-star ratings. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below on the growth potential for this Traeger stock and whether you think it's a buy or not. Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock. They're just meant to share some analyst insights and give you some entertainment and information. Please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the Tip Ranks channel as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you back here next time.